yes, we're going to start off with the Lex Luger from the NWO Wolfpack attire, uh, part of the Legends Series 15. And as you can see, um, this is actually the original one, not the running change one with the bigger arms. Um, but as you can see, you can get Kane, Stacy Keebler, and X Pac. And we're also going to be going over my main girl, China, from Series 14 of The Legends. You can get Road Dog, me, Mark Callis, Edge, and China. This is Series 14. And uh, the DX version of China, not the SummerSlam. Uh, China that we or that I unboxed back way back when um, for the WrestleMania series, and we're also going to be unboxing today the Pierre Le Resistance X Pac Series 15 Legends WWE Elites, and so yeah, I mean essentially we got two DX and one NWO. Uh, so X Pac for uh, also known as Sean Waltman also known as aka six um six pack one two three kid uh he's had, had so many monikers uh back in the day so let's get to unboxing these bad boys and gals and let's let them breathe all right so we're gonna go over uh lex luger the total package and uh he is in his um nwo red and black also known as the wolf pack and uh it's pretty straightforward um it's just him and some trunks so this is pretty much what he wore with the exception of obviously like the early wcws but i don't believe that they've met any uh elites of his uh you know early wcw days and that was like when he was during uh the 80s early 90s when he was with the uh, four horsemen and when he was uh, tag team champions with uh, Sting and whatnot. So he normally used to wear white boots with his black trunks um, during his not like pre nitro days and all through that. And then of course when he joined the, uh, the NWO, he wore these type of trunks. And then he actually had some like tights uh, or jeans. He used to wear jeans along with this. And um, this is actually the one that I was telling before in the introduction that. It was pre-running change because they felt, or a lot of people felt, that his arms weren't big enough to be as muscular as he, he was, or is, rather. Um, or actually, I should say was, because he's older now and he's uh, he's having some big uh, health issues. But uh, so, you know, my heart goes out to him, hopefully that everything um, is good. Uh, he can barely walk or stand. He's normally in a wheelchair. But uh, yeah, so they did a running change and they made his biceps bigger. He does have a chase where he's actually wearing orange trunks with the red and black, um, with the bigger arms also with the chase. So there's actually two chases. So if you're lucky enough to get both the big arms, small arms, then you're pretty much well off, you know, as far as collector. And of course, if you're a completist, you have to have the two chases uh, as well as these two. Um, so his, uh, the arms are actually now they're no longer uh, pins. Remember, I was talking to you earlier about some other figures that they don't use pins anymore, um, even on the on the knees. So, but it's very articulated, just out of the package. And he does come, obviously, with his red and black T-shirt. But he also comes with another face with uh, his mullet, rather than it being uh, pulled back. And then he comes with some extra hands. But I'm going to leave these in the posing. Leave them just like this. And my buddy, uh, Zach, who, if you've watched any of the, the uh, Fortnite videos uh, that we have on uh, Fortnite, or I'm sorry, uh, Twitch, uh, you've seen my buddy Zach um, play Fortnite with me. He actually has been slowly but surely getting into figure collecting, uh, whether it was by my... Um, you know, just taking after me, or he just wanted to start collecting figures. I know he does collect figures with his son, so that may be the reason why um, he's getting a little bit more into it now. Uh, but yeah, he actually uh, picked up the chase with the with the running change arm, so he's actually going to be sitting on 
that over to Mia plus some other stuff that he found for Jaden. So that's good looking out, Zach. Thank you so very much. So his eyes are like, eh. I mean, they look a little weird to me, but that's my only gripe about this particular figure. It's pretty clean. Um, just a basic elite, if you can even say that. You know, that's a little bit of di dichotomy, juxtaposition, if you will. Um, but yeah, I mean, essentially, the, he was pretty basic. If you, you know Lex Luger, he didn't really wear a lot of fancy um, attire into the ring. You know, he was trunks, boots, uh, boots, knee pads, wrist tape, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, so let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one uh, we're going to be going over is China uh, from the DX, or the, her time with DX. Now, of course, this is the third China that has been made. Uh, the first one, I don't know, was it the Wrestle? No, the WrestleMania one that I unboxed a while back um, was her first one. That was her WrestleMania 17. Um, when she was the champion, the women's champion at the time during the Attitude Era. This is her third one. The next one after that was a two-pack with Triple H pre-DX. So essentially there's three Chinas out there. Um, and it's a nice, it's a good thing that they're doing that, you know, because if you're not familiar with her background with uh, wrestling, um, when she was let go from the WWE around 2001, a little after 2001, early 2002, um, she went into the adult film world. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and so obviously the WWE didn't want to have anything to deal with that. Um, also, she was in the, the news a lot with uh, having some substance issues. Uh, she actually... Um, <laughs> gonna pop his name over here or pop his figure over here so she was dating him for a very very long time and their uh, relationship never um mounted as much that was actually really really bad for each other um but yeah i mean essentially this is her dx like i would say 98 99 no i would say 98 that's mostly 98 once when she was doing this but uh yeah so she has her uh, her necklace or her I don't know, I forget what you could, uh, choker, there we go, she's got her choker, she's got her vest, it is removable, and it just shows her with, uh, just that, but of course, the articulation, again, pinless, so all, of, I forget what, what series started the pinless, um, you know, uh, figures, because, uh, I'm going to have to remember that. Anybody in the comment section, if you remember or if you know what series that they actually started the pinless uh, articulation, let me know. But yeah, being she used to wear hair in a bow like this, you know, ponytail a lot. And it's a really good figure. I uh, really, I don't know the which, I don't even know how many other Chinas that they could make. I mean, they could make maybe debut China um, or... No, no, no. They can actually make the China, uh, and I'll put a picture here, is when she was, like, still with Triple H uh, when he turned heel in 2000. In 2000 um, right before she changed her get-up, before she became women's champion, she was wearing another attire. So she, they could make that one. I think that's, at that point in time, that would be the, the last thing they would be able to make because she wasn't, she didn't really have a long stint with the WWE um, she's got a Funko Pop, so naturally they can make different Funko Pops for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, essentially it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, I was glad that I actually got it on clearance. Uh, it was, uh, $9.99 I got it on clearance. So I was ne naturally going to get Edge. If you remember the last toy hunt that I did at Target, um, I was going to get Edge, but then I decided to to get her instead so i was like yeah well, never it's never too late to uh to get the edge I'm, i see those constantly when i go out of the uh the targets so and i'm sure that they're probably on clearance right now too as i speak but yeah let's go to the next one and final one all right so rounding up this uh edition of the toy unboxing is x Pac, aka 123 kid aka six aka six Pac, and this is in his uh dx gear that they wore when they invaded a WCW Nitro 
Uh, so if you are a around my age, you'll remember the famous Nitro where they were both in North Carolina within like a few hours of each other and they went and raided the Norfolk Scope Norfolk Scope Arena um, and uh, I think DX were all in army gear like Triple H was in army gear uh, so was Road Dog and Billy Gunn so I need to get uh, Road Dog and I need to get uh, Road Dog, Billy Gunn and, and Triple H in their army gear so I need to get those legends but yeah I mean essentially he gets wearing his regular DX shirt um, his sunglasses, it does come with some extra hands, but these hands are basically will do the, uh, the DX crotch chop. You can always set that up for that, but not so many people know, just like the, uh, the Sid Justice. I don't know if you've seen any of those figures, but they do have alternate attire. All right. So with the, the legends, as far as like the DX army, um, you can see that if you take off their, um, their fatigues you can see them in their ring gear i, I left the vest on because that was it was really hard for me to actually get the, the clothes off of him just to be able to do this uh unboxing you know just to film this now so i was like i'm just gonna leave i'm just gonna leave the vest on but essentially this was his ring gear when at that time when they were uh doing the dx invasion to wcw um so i basically going to keep him in this uh the crotch chop um as we all know and love the crotch chop that probably got us uh people in our late 30s and early 40s uh, in a lot of trouble for doing the crotch chop in school uh <laughs> so uh but yeah i mean essentially the 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 articulation on this one is pretty uh tight so i'm probably gonna have to just bl put a blow dryer on him just to get him a little loose but and that was mainly the issue with me trying to get his uh, fatigues off but yeah I mean essentially the, the the legend or the yeah the legend this legend is actually one of the better ones that I've seen recently a lot of the other legends usually have a lot of things wrong with them but I haven't been able to see anything wrong with this one um, other than it's just been the joints are really tight but I like it uh, I'm probably gonna display him like this or maybe once I get all the DX guys I'll probably put them in all all of their uh, fatigues and then I'll probably put them in their own space a DX and a NWO section separate from my other rings that I have but I like it a lot I'm glad I was able to get this um, I think I got this on clearance too but I can't recall because it doesn't have the tag on the on the box I don't think that uh, it was less than what the actual $32.99 that you normally see it on the, the price guide at Target as well. But yeah. All right. So that does it for this edition of the Toy Unboxing.